Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'll be showing you how to install two case fans, or more case fans than two APC. I have this, my phone's flashlight, to help with the um, lighting, because in here it's pretty bad, the lighting, so that's good. So first thing you want to do is you want to start by removing these thumb screws on the back of your PC. Now most of the time you can use your thumb, but sometimes you may need to use a screwdriver. So it's always good to have one of these screwdrivers. Next, slide off this um, side panel and it could take a lot of um, like force, but it's good just to remove it and put it somewhere safe. Now here's a quick look on the inside of my PC case. I'll move this a little bit closer. You have your CPU here, but I have this a water-cooled um, um, CPU. You have your graphics card here, power supply here, your hard drive phase are also right here, and whatever you have up here, like your optical drive and everything, is also your RAM. The next thing to do is to turn around your computer. Oof being very careful that you don't knock it off the table and do the same thing on the back and remove the back side panel so you just want to remove these thumb screws right here and the second one's coming off now and remove the back and back here you'll just see a whole bunch of cables and my lovely cable management skills now that you got that out of the way, you just want to see where you're going to actually put your fans. So me, I have one fan back here to the right. I have my um, exhaust fan and my CPU cooler fan attached to here, so that's a plus. So I got two Cooler Master Sickle Flow 120 uh, millimeter fans, blue LED fans, to install um, in my PC. I'm going to be adding another one in the front to help give some fan, I don't know, like some uh, airflow to my GPU because that's getting a little bit suffocated. And I'm also going to be adding another one up front to cool um, the top of it, my RAM, and actually on the bottom of my power supply down there, as you guys can see, I actually have a fan underneath blowing it into there. So that's something to note. So to start, we're going to have to find how we're going to access the fans. So for me, I'm going to have to pull off the top here and the front here. So once I'm done, I'll be back. So you guys can see I removed the top and the sides. So now it looks pretty bare bones. And I'm going to simply screw in the fans on the top up there and then one in the side over here. So now that I have the front of the case, everything not installed, I'm going to take out my fan and I'm going to see which way it goes, like which way it pushes the air. So the air goes in through this side, in this way, and out this way. So I want to make this an intake fan, so I'm going to mount it like this. Okay, so after a very long time of trying to figure out this whole situation with um, the fans, I got them in. And the only thing I was missing was the screws. And what the screws look like when they come in the package with the fan are these tiny things. And those will not get through all the way through the fan into the screw head. So what I did is I heard this like story happening to someone else. So I got these long screws off of Amazon. They're like $4. Come in packs of four. And I installed them with those and it worked perfectly out fine. So this was an original fan. This is a new fan that I got. And then there's one up here. If you guys can see that. I added another intake fan on the front to go in on the side. So that's what happened there. So that's pretty much it for fan installation. But now you need to hook up all these fans. And luckily for me, when I, when I bought my, um, when I got my computer, when I built it, I bought this, which is an NZXT fan controller, very uh, cheap, inexpensive, and it works very good. What that does is it tells you 
what the RPM of the fan is, and you can change the speed. So if you're not doing too much work, you can put it on low setting so this fan spin very low. Or you can put it on high setting, and you can uh, make the spins, the spins, the fans spin very fast. So that's always good to have, and always check to make sure your fans spin freely, just in case um, any wires got caught in like it did that time. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So now I'll conclude it with the final testing, and I can show you the fans spinning. So now that I turned on the fans, hopefully you guys can see that the blue fans are on. You guys can see up here also, the blue fan is on. So that's good news that it's on. Hello darkness, my old friend. Hello darkness, my old friend.